both directions of I-95 shut down and we have Chopper 4 live over the scene. So I-95 closed off southbound around Northwest 95th Street. It looks like they're allowing some drivers to jump onto I-95 northbound, but the northbound lanes are closed off if you're heading in that direction around 62nd to 79th Street. So you can see it right here where the shooting occurred, the car involved with that yellow tarp, and they've shut down both directions to continue that investigation. Let's show you a camera, an angle that you could see a number of drivers, as Cabby mentioned, frustrated. They've been in this traffic jam for hours now. This shooting occurred around 4.30 a.m., meaning about eight hours stuck in this traffic that they've shut down I-95. So you could see drivers just pulling over to the shoulder. What you're going to want to do, obviously, I-95 closed southbound and northbound. You can always take your side street. So US-441 is a good option, runs parallel to I-95. And then, of course, any one of your other side streets or even Biscayne Boulevard, which is well east of I-95. But take a look at this map. You're seeing plenty of red arrows northbound and southbound on US-1 as well. So there's going to be delays in those side streets. So you can opt for the side streets instead of I-95 as your alternates, but expect heavy delays there. Right now, 109 minutes on I-95 from the Golden Glades to where they're detouring everybody off on 103rd. And then I-95 northbound shut down at 79th Street, 71 minutes from the Dolphin Expressway up to Northwest 79th Street. So again, US-441, Biscayne are going to be your best alternates.